Folks, I will never stop to deliver student debt relief and hardworking Americans. Tens of millions of people's debt was literally about to get canceled. But then some of my Republican friends and elected officials and special interests sued us, and the Supreme Court blocked us. No, I mean it sincerely. We continue to find alternatives passed to reduce student debt payments. The White House announcing an additional $7.4 billion in student loan debt bailouts today, bringing the total amount of student loan debt transferred to the taxpayers to a whopping $153 billion, impacting 4.3 million borrowers. Meanwhile, inflation's exploded since Joe Biden took office, now costing Americans an extra $1,000 per month on average. Woo. Here with Reaction, Forbes Media Chairman and Editor-in-Chief Steve Forbes, along with FreedomWorks Chief Economist and Committee to Unleash Prosperity co-founder Steve Moore. The Steves, welcome to the bottom line. Welcome, Good welcome, to the power Thank panel. You. All right, Steve Moore, I'm going to come to you first. Uh, again, I think Joe Biden, he sees he's failing with the youth vote. He's trying to buy them off, but they're having a hard time launching, whether it's with homes or uh, seeing the cost of a car or food. Uh, they're saying Joe Biden and Joe Biden's economy doesn't work. I don't think you can buy them off with student loan debt relief. Is that for me or yes. Steve Forbes? Steve Moore. <laughs> okay. Steve, it's great to be with you, by the way. He's my hero. Uh, listen, uh, I think this was a terrible week for the Biden campaign and the Biden presidency because many of your friends on Wall Street had felt like inflation was going away. By the way, I've been saying on your show for week after week after week that inflation is not going away, that it's actually rising again. And that's exactly what these new statistics showed. Uh, and you're exactly right. For middle class families, they're just getting hammered by this. Uh, and that's why two thirds of Americans keep saying over and over again that they don't feel that they're better off under Biden. They feel that they're worse off. And on the student loan thing, I mean, this is just infuriating. I mean, you're talking about people with graduate degrees, you know, yeah. that are getting uh, debt relief from people who are a, a trucker or a plumber or a nurse. I mean, how in the world is that fair to anyone? $150 billion down the toilet. You'd think we were running a budget surplus, not a $1.5 trillion deficit. Uh, Steve Forbes, hurt the many to woo the few. And this is garbage economic policy. It's also unconstitutional. Yeah. The Supreme Court has You're ruled. Right. And so Joe, Joe Biden says he's finding alternatives. It's called breaking the law. And uh, he's got to be called out on that. It spits in the face of those people, tens of millions of people who paid their debts, took on a debt and paid their debts. And by the way, it doesn't get to the uh, industrial education, industrial complex where the colleges get to raise tuition more and more. Students take on more and more debt. And guess who's holding the bag for it? And then Bo Joe Biden comes along and doesn't make the colleges to take part uh, responsibility for part of that debt. He says, I'm going to forgive it to you. I think people, most people are going to see through it. And he, he's there, there's he, not even America's rich enough to buy enough voters to get this guy back in office. No, we are not rich enough. That's for sure, Steve Forbes. Right, let's, let's shift gears to this now, because Biden's repeatedly promised to be the champion of ordinary Americans, yet his IRS has set its sights on the middle class. A new report by the Treasury Inspector General for Tax Administration and the IRS watchdog found that 63% of new audits last year, 63% of new audits last year, targeted taxpayers with an income of less than $200,000, Steve Moore. We've been talking about that on this show. Of course, that's where the money is at. They're going after lower income taxpayers, not the rich. Yeah. I just wanted to add one thing to what Steve Forbes just said about the student loan. Steve Forbes, you're 100 percent correct, but you didn't get entirely correct because not only is he violating the uh, the Supreme Court, also the Congress never appropriated a dime of this money. Yep. So he's he's taking out two, two of our uh, branches of government here and violating the way our Constitution works. And, you know, when it when it comes to. Um, you know, this issue, what was this that you were asking me about? The um, IRS. The, oh, the IRS. You know, look, you should ask Steve Forbes this question because he spent his whole career trying to tame the IRS with a flat tax that would make it so simple. And yes, the middle class is being targeted, but here's my even bigger fear. And I guarantee that we're going to be talking about this in six months. Not just the middle class, but anyone who is a conservative yes. or Republican or does not uh, in any way takes on the Biden administration. In other words, what I'm telling you guys mm -hmm. is they are weaponizing the IRS against their enemies, just like Richard Nixon did. Yep. 
Yep, absolutely. Steve Forbes, 63% of new audits targeting people making less than 200,000, 80% targeting filers earning less than $1 million, so much for the billionaires that will um, have to pay up. Well, and this, and this gets to another part of what uh, Joe Biden is doing, is this is a way to shake down. Tony Soprano would love, I think he's really in spirit, the new <laughs> head of the IRS, and that is you go to a, a small business uh, that doesn't have a ton of lawyers and accountants to defend you, and they yeah. come in and say, oh, we think we found a violation. We, we, you're going to owe us ten dollars or $15,000, but you pay us three to $5,000, we'll get out of your hair. Uh, that's extortion, right. but that's what you're going to see. People don't have the resources to defend themselves against the bureaucracy of the United States government. Moving By the on way, to Steve Forbes, has something quickly on this. That uh, we just got a check. My wife and I, a, a little envelope from the IRS, just saying we just did an audit of you and you owe us twelve thousand dollars. And Steve, they didn't even tell us what you know why we owe them twelve thousand dollars. And they're probably thinking, well, we might as well just pay the money. Or else we're going to have to spend, you know, twenty thousand dollars on lawyers and lobby yep. and you know and accountants. So it is it is a shakedown. Well, Steve Forbes is right. Well, and if you don't move post haste, they'll freeze your bank account. They have that power right. where they you will. can't access your money at all. But I want to move on to this. It looks like more and more workers have become disillusioned under Biden's economy. According to a recent survey, this is Gallup, employee engagement has dropped to its lowest level in more than a decade, with a staggering 4.8 million fewer employees engaged compared to where they were last year. And when we say engagement, that means like how interested in work they are. Steve, I think productivity Forbes is a huge problem, and it's because people are not being forced to go to work. State of California employees now will be required to work in the office at least two days a week. This is bad for the economy. Well, yes, it is. You can't create a culture in that kind of environment. And uh, then you have California trying to do away, and the, uh, Joe Biden's taken this up, of doing away with so-called gig workers, that you want to be an independent contractor. No, they want you to join a union. So uh, they're undermining every way they can the whole free enterprise system and make it dependent on the government. That's great for those who want uh, modern socialism and control things, but bad for America's future. And if America's future is bad, that's bad for the world as well. Steve Moore, real quick, your final word. Steve Moore? Did we lose him? Oh, wait, well... They froze on us. So it was, it was going to be great, Steve Moore was. We appreciate them both. I us. just wanted to add, engaged means how detached or attached someone is, like detached from yeah. their job, their satisfaction with their workplace. And so their U.S. engagement with their employers hit an 11-year low. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.